The Kainji Hydropower Station in Niger State in Nigeria is the country's largest hydropower hub project. After more than 50 years of operation, many parts of the spillways have been run down and some damaged. In March, a team of Chinese divers came to Kainji and began the intricate repair work. The group of 23 divers work in shifts throughout the day and have to complete the repair of the underwater damaged parts within three months. This includes installing more than 70 tons of steel bars and pouring 3,100 cubic meters of underwater non-dispersible concrete. I hope that our team will let more Africans and African owners know that we can do underwater repairs and solve their problems through some projects in Kainji. Let everyone know that China is very competitive in technology and price, and we are no worse than European and American companies. From 2011 to 2016, Power China Huadong Engineering Corporation Limited repaired three generating units of the Kainji hydropower station. In the following eight years, these three units operated stably and continued to contribute more than half of the power generation of the power station. In 2021, the Kainji power station planned to build two new units and repair another generating unit, and Chinese companies successfully won that contract. Don't grow without electricity. One of the major problems we have in Nigeria today is lack of adequate and quality electricity. This is exactly what we are doing. So this relationship with Power China is beyond just coming to do contract and then leaving or just for us to generate power. It goes a long way into so many aspects of the Nigerian economy. I think uh, we have a lot to gain from you know, partnering and associating with, with China. By the year 2027, the restoration, expansion and upgrade of the Kainji hydropower station should be completed and the total installed capacity will increase from the previously designed 760 megawatts to 980 megawatts. The units will be providing Nigeria with an additional 320,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per hour, further meeting the needs of local, economic and social development. Beryl Oro, CGTN.